In this video, I'm gonna show you a plugin that adds skills to your Minecraft server. It is called Aurelium Skills. It will allow you to gain XP by doing certain tasks in your server. When you earn enough XP, you will eventually level up, making you better at doing those specific tasks. Eventually, you will also unlock abilities, which you can activate by the use of mana, something brand new that Aurelium Skills adds. And today, I'm gonna show you exactly how this all works. So do be sure to leave a like, also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell well, now that we've hit the 20k subscribers, we're going straight on to the next big milestone, the 30k. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So the first thing you want to do is download Aurelium Skills from Spigot MC. A link to this page will be in the description. So simply click on download now, wait for a little bit and there you go. After that, simply drag Aurelium Skills into your plugins folder and restart your Minecraft server. And after that, you're ready to go. So Aurelium Skills is now successfully installed. And I will now be able to gain experience by doing certain tasks. So by executing the command slash skills, you will actually see all the different tasks available. So we got farming, foraging, mining, fishing, excavation, archery, defense, fighting, endurance, agility, alchemy, enchanting, sorcery, healing, and last but not least, foraging. Now the way you level up these abilities will be displayed on top. So over here we got fighting, fight mobs with melee weapons to earn fighting XP, or mining, mine stone or ores to earn mining XP, cut trees to earn foraging XP, take damage from entities to earn defense XP, enchant item and books to earn enchanting XP, use mana abilities to earn sorcery XP, and the list goes on. So now I can start leveling up by doing certain tasks. So when I start digging the ground with a shovel, you can see that excavation is going up. I'm slowly gaining more and more XP. Now by killing mobs, I will also gain XP. So my fighting ability is now slowly going up. Mining blocks will also give me XP. So here we go. I'm mining stone and I'm slowly gaining XP. So I'm just gonna mine for a little more. And in a second, you will see I'm leveling up. There we go, mining level 2. Now I also get some rewards for this. So currently my toughness and my luck has gone up. I've also unlocked an ability, Lucky Miner. Now to find out what it all means, we're gonna type slash skills again. And after that, I'm gonna click on the mining skill. Over here, you can see which level you're currently in and which level you're working on. So I'm currently in level 2 and I'm working my way towards level 3. Like you can see, when I reach level 3, I will unlock more toughness and I will also unlock a new ability. Earn temporary more mining XP. That's a pretty nice ability actually, especially when you eventually want to reach level 97, which is the highest level for mining. Now by hovering the pickaxe on top of your page, you can see which level you're in, you can see the abilities you've already unlocked, and you can see how much XP you need to go to the next level. In my case, 200 more than I will be level 3. Now here you got your skill ranking. So let's say you got 100 people on your Minecraft server, you can here see how you're ranked and if you're maybe in the top 10% percent of players or maybe absolutely not. It is quite cool to have a built-in leaderboard. Then over here we got XP sources. So the sources menu showing all the ways you can earn XP in a skill as well as how much XP each source gives. So this is actually really important. When clicking on here you will see a ton of blocks. Now all of these blocks will give you mining XP. So I was just mining stone and like you can see stone will only give 0.2 XP which is not a whole lot. But as we move on higher in this list, you can see that some blocks will give you a lot more XP. So iron, for example, will already give you 1.8 XP. When going to the next page, you can see the deep slate iron 2.2. Here we got deep slate copper ore 4.2. Obsidian will give you 10 XP, which is quite a lot. I would only have to do a little bit of obsidian mining to get to level 3. And this goes on all the way until here we got diamond, deep slate diamond ore 56 6.8 then here reinforced deep slate 125 xp and the most rare block ancient debris 500 xp so ancient debris mining is for sure the best thing you can do to level up now, very good to know is that this plugin prevents you from placing blocks breaking them and getting more xp that way so it's not like if you got 10 obsidian in your inventory you can just place it down and continuously break it to get yourself in a really high level really fast this plugin actually prevents that, which is awesome. That's how it should be. Now back on the mining page, here we got abilities. So abilities are passive perks you unlock and 
upgrade as you level up your skills. But there are also mana abilities. So mana abilities are special type of ability that requires activation and consumes mana. So when we click on abilities, you can see what all the abilities are. So for mining, we got Lucky Miner, which will give you a higher chance of getting a double drop from an ore. Then we got Miner, earn 10% more mining XP. We got Pickmaster, deal 3% more damage with a pickaxe. Stamina grants 1% toughness while holding a pickaxe. In other words, people in mobs will be less likely to kill you when you're holding a pickaxe. You will be tougher. Then Hardened Armor. A 3% chance to negate durability damage on armor. And then last but not least, the mining ability. Gives haste 10 for 5 seconds. Right click the pickaxe and mine a block to activate. So I'm now gonna give myself a lot of XP to unlock that ability. The way we're gonna do that is by typing slash uh, skills, after that XP, add, then my Minecraft username, then the type of ability we want to add XP for, in my case mining, and then I'm just gonna add a simple 10,000 or something like that. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Yes. Leveling up fine. All the way to level 8. Perfect. When I now type slash skills go to mining again and abilities you can see that i've unlocked speed miner so now i will be able to activate this ability with the mana you can see your mana over here above your whole bar so i'm simply gonna right click mine a block and there you go like you can see i got haste 10 but just for a little bit there we go effect is worn off already and i've used mana now it will slowly get back up and after that i can use the ability again now by right clicking you can see i still need to wait 182 seconds before i can initiate this active ability again though a lot of skills actually have an active ability not all of them but farming does have one replants crops automatically for five seconds which is insanely useful foraging breaks entire trees instantly for five seconds that's epic deal 0.5 damage to a hooked enemy when left clicking with a fishing rod that's quite an interesting ability actually i didn't know this was the ability for fishing that's cool this way there are a lot more out there now also good to know is what stats you can level up by leveling up your skills so here inside of your skills menu when you hover fighting for example you can see the stats level strength and regeneration now for foraging this is strength and toughness for enchanting it is wisdom and luck now if you want to know what all of these stats do you can click on your profile here in the top right so i'm gonna click on my head and here you can see all of your abilities so we got health health increases the amount of hp you have allowing you to last longer in fights now these are the skills you need to improve to get more health so fishing alchemy healing defense and farming then we got regeneration increases how fast you recover both health and mana and we got luck increases your chance to get more rare loot from mobs fishing and more than wisdom Wisdom increases your max mana, increases experience gain, and decreases anvil cost. So that's actually quite an overpowered one, if you ask me. And then here we got toughness, increases your amount of damage reduced from enemy attacks. So it can be quite valuable to keep an eye on these. Of course, they will automatically level up when you level up a certain skill. But if you, for example, die all the time, then focusing on one of these skills might be really valuable to you, so you will get your health up and die less often. Now, there are also a few commands that Aurelium skills add. Now most of them you won't need to use a lot, but things that might come in useful is for example the XP command, which will allow you to give or take XP from players. You also got the save command, which you might want to execute before stopping or restarting your server. Here we got to reset health. If for some reason you want to do that, you can. Then the last thing I want to take a look at is the config file. Overall, by default, there's not a lot you will need to change. Over here you got all the different languages available, which might be good for an international server. Server. Over here, you can also decide to enable or disable the action bar, the boss bar. You will also be able to change the format over here, which might be something that you want to do. The base mana is also something you can change. So if you want people to start off with zero, then you can do that. Also, the update period for the leaderboard, you can change. Also, do you want the skills to be disabled in creative mode? True or false? And this one might be pretty cool. Reset skills on death. You could make a hardcore server this way, which would be awesome. I could totally see someone use that option. Now, autosave, this is actually something
something you might want to turn on, as I've had problems with this on my own server. When my own Minecraft server crashed one time, some people lost more than 8 hours of progress because it didn't automatically save. Now, if you shut down your server, then it will save for you. But if it crashes, it won't have time to save and your players will lose progress. So make sure to tick this on, put it to something like every 5 or 10 minutes. It will make sure that if a crash happens, people won't lose much of their progress. And then guys, that's gonna be it for today. This plugin is absolutely awesome and I find it amazing that it is pretty much plug and play. Drag it into your plugins folder, restart your server and you're pretty much good to go. You might want to tweak some things, but not a lot of tweaking is actually necessary. Hello sheep, what's up? I know. I know. Anyways, I really want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Also, press that subscribe button. Click on the notification bell. We're going for the 30k subscribers now, which will be the next big milestone here on the channel. And then, I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.